So now we know what is love, how strong it is, yeah. and what it does, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. So now, let's apply that to real life situations. Mm. Yeah. So friendships. <laughs> <laughs> friendships. <laughs> friendships <laughs> can go many ways. Because first, I'm going to list them down. Pardon me, I'm eating a cookie. <laughs> this cookie is made out of love. <laughs> so the first one is you choosing your friends. That's the first one. Yeah. You have that. Oh. I want to say free will, but you would. Ha you have the um, choice to pick your friends, who you want to influence or kind of help um, shape your identity. Yeah. A second one is a bit more sad and unfortunate. Mm. Sometimes we are placed in situations where we are forced to mingle with people mm. and then over time we become like them mm. against our will mm -hmm. yeah true wow. the third one what's the third one like choosing to leave i'd say like mm. there's people that you choose to say and then people you can't help but you have to stay mm. and then people you unfortunately have to grow out of mm. yeah Oh, that one's hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So those three things. So let's talk about like the first one. Choosing people who you choose. want. Who, yeah. you choose who you choose. Who you choose. I think it definitely goes a long way with like the way you grow up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because like when you're younger, like you, you try to be friends with everybody. Yeah. Everybody, very anybody much. who will be friends with you back. Mm-hmm. So if you grow up with those people throughout like your entire life or at least entire childhood, I feel like those first couple of friends would greatly impact how you end up being yeah. when you're grown. Mm. Because the friends you make when you're older, like of course they influence you still, but they didn't create who you were. Wow. Mm -hmm. They just change who you your mentality, I guess, yeah. in the That's true. of how your future is. See, this is what makes humans very complex because when you're young, there's only so little that we know yet in our early stages in life. That's why kids are very curious, very open to anything. Mm -hmm. I want to try this, I want to try that. And then we meet a lot of people. We think everyone's like so friendly. That's how we see the world back mm -hmm. then. Eesh. And now that we grow up, friendships aren't actually that easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, sometimes it's hard to initiate conversation. Sometimes it's easy. Mm -hmm. But then it's about maintaining it though, mm. you know, because in order to maintain a friendship, you need love. Yes. You need com and then love, with love comes with communication. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then comes with communication, understanding, and bond. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are very important because if you don't have love in the first place, yeah. then you wouldn't have any of those. Then yeah. what kind of friendship would that be, right? The friendship True. will fail. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm. I always got deceived. Like, just because me and a person vibed well, mm. I thought immediately, they're my friend. Mm. Mm. I'm kind of guilty of that, too. Because I was born naturally extroverted. So, I don't have, like, a hard time communicating with the people around me. But then as I grow up, I realized that not everyone shares the same values as me in life. Not mm. everyone shares the same, like, kind of opinions on certain topics in life. You know? And then disagreements happen and mm. when those come <laughs> that's the test mm -hmm. you True. know how are you going to respond to that are you going to be angry with them are you going to be patient how are you going to tell them that this is not right mm -hmm. how are you going to let them teach you wow it's 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 difficult you know and if you respond with anger that's not love yeah, yeah. If you respond with anger that's where friendships relationships tend, tend to kind of fall apart but if you respond calmly, that's why, what verse was it? It was, um, you need to be like slow to speak, slow yeah. to anger, yeah. Oh, yeah. be quick to listen. You know, those three have like stuck with me. And it's hard, it's hard to be consistent, you know, but if you remind those three, you kind of ground yourself that, okay, we're in a disagreement. I have to listen first to this person's side, then I can tell my side. Mm-hmm. Because again, love, communication, then bond. Word. Yeah. That made me think about a verse. It's iron sharpens iron. Mm, yeah. Not yeah. one chips at another. 
Like, yeah. like, sorry. N- not one chipping at only one person. Yeah. You're treating the person just like a log. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, you know, well, in the axe? Yeah. Like, That's we're, not- like, I think I fell into this trap whenever I was <coughs> friends with people. I felt like I was the molder and shaper of them. So I'd be like, oh, you're good at this. Let me, like, tweak this and that. Oh, but yeah. If, if they said something to me, I'd be like, who are you to judge? Mm. I know what I'm doing, you know? Yeah. They'd be like, I know more than you. Exactly. That's, no. that's why, like, for me, like, it's always important for me to always ask God to sharpen my sword so I can other, so I can sharpen other people's swords as well. Mm. And to just be, like, an inspiration to them about Jesus, too. That's true. Yeah. Mm. We can't be dull ourselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. God also says in the scriptures too that why do you care about the log in your brother's eye? You know, the mm-hmm. speck in your brother's eye. Mm-hmm. You need to look at like your eye first yeah. before looking at somebody's eye. You know? Because mm-hmm. again, as Nathalie said, how can you sharpen someone when you yourself are dull? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nothing's going to happen. Yeah. It's kind of having some sort of hope when you do try to influence each other mm-hmm. and you know, obviously we're striving for improvement for one another and growth. Mm-hmm. But if it's faith without love, it's like selfishly making them into someone that you will thrive off of. Mm-hmm. When yeah. when you actually have hope, like God is going to dis- do this for this person, then the relationship will flow into yeah. God's will instead of your own will. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Or like, trying to build off of them you know like mm. like what you wanted to mold love as you do that to the other person because you couldn't do that for yourself mm. you know? yeah. there it is oh it's it's kind of wait it's it's going into like remember what i said at first like when you use your gifts mm-hmm. you're kind of just using it for yeah yourself. yeah yourself and, and again and what like, you benefit right and like, and like god like god's gonna be like what am i gonna bless that with though because you already gave it to yourself yeah mm. you gave it to someone else too or somewhere off the world yeah 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 wow okay i have a question now mm. relating to what you said is so if let's say you have a friend right yeah. and you want what's best for them like you act like love wise you want what's best for them you're trying to help them out with that but then it going back to like the people around you shaping you, mm. is it bad to also think like if you're making them better, it'll make you better? Is that like selfish? Oh in a way. Cause you're you're trying to help them and like and help them strive. And since they're striving, you think it'll make you strive as well. Helping them to help you? Yeah. Is that selfish? Because it's like a backhanded thing, right? Is it? I feel like it's it kind of is. Difficult. Like, I, I, I could tell, yeah. yeah. Like it would be, but is it a bad thing? Not necessarily, because God... Let's say you're in a period <laughs> of healing. Mm. Okay. That's a big thing, healing. Yeah. Healing is not a beautiful. Like, it's not aesthetic. It's not... Mm. Something to be romanticized. Wow. Well, you know, <laughs> healing is intimate, private. Yeah. Now, there are different ways that people heal. I'm going to use this as an example to answer your question. Healing. Some people can heal by themselves alone in their room, mm-hmm. other people can find healing by helping others. Now, now you're helping others to heal. It's about the mindset now here. Mm. The first mindset would be, I'm healing this person. Then you're starting to have this kind of savior mentality. Yeah. And I am like, God. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's true. Yeah. A lot of people, <laughs> like, if for real, a lot of people think they're God for somebody. Yeah. Or trying to be God for trying somebody. Trying to be God, yeah. 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 Well, we are told to be... Um, be there for each other but mm-hmm. not to the point where they have to thank me because i did mm-hmm. this for them yes mm-hmm. no yes. That's, that's gonna lead to like toxicity yeah. right yeah. there yes. and savior mentality wow so, yeah. yeah that that that's selfish the second one would be i'm helping them so i can <coughs> learn what i can do so we can both grow together mm. yeah yeah. So I think it's like those those two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I think okay. yeah, I agree with her. 
because there could be like one there like when you're healing like the devil could probably trick you into going back like yeah like to that state of going back downhill again mm. or two god could send you a friend where you guys could help each other but i feel like you gotta have discernment on like who that type of friend is first mm. oh love yeah. your neighbor as yourself yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> if you really love yourself the way God does, you'll choose the right friend. Mm. What about, is this the same being like the person to somebody else that you wish you had? I like to be the parent that I never had towards you. Mm. But, I, right, it's all also in perspective. Because you're also like the oldest. Yes, I'm the yeah. oldest. Perspective-wise, when I was younger and tried to do that, I did not understand what I was doing at all. Mm -hmm. And I hurt you. Because mm -hmm. the first time I did it, I tried to be someone I never had out of pain, out of trauma, out of bitterness. Mm -hmm. But when God took that away and replaced it with peace and fullness, like He filled me up first. I was able to be the person I wanted to be for you. Oh, give me goosebumps. Yeah. Well, I'm the youngest, so I, I can't yeah. relate. But there were times in my group of friends where I'm acting as if I was like older than them and kind of leading them. I try to redirect myself to God instead of thinking that they always come to me mm. for like to talk. Mm -hmm. Like again, that like, that really toxic savior mentality right there. That's why it's important. That, every, that when we talk to people about these kind of things, we need to thank God because He used us. Right. Not because, oh, I'm thankful for myself. Mm -hmm. Like, you know? <laughs> right? God is only, we're all, there's only so much that we can do.